Meet Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, and Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, and Jordan, and Jamie Johnson, two beautiful babies born on the very same day. Each baby has a good chance of landing in a good place in life, as long as one of them doesn't lose the zip code lottery. Like one million babies each year, Jamie's been born into a low-income family. And since Jamie's mom lacked access to good prenatal care, Jamie is much smaller than Jordan. And since they won't have access to brain-developing activities found in high-quality childcare, low-income children like Jamie will be two times more likely to experience developmental delays. It probably won't surprise you that by their third birthday, Jamie's been exposed to a lot fewer words than Jordan. A whole lot fewer. And I imagine Jamie's fourth birthday won't be much better. By the time they reach kindergarten, Jamie will have already fallen behind Jordan in language and pre-reading skills by 12 to 14 months. And getting to school on a regular basis will be perhaps Jamie's biggest challenge. Unfortunately, a myriad of health, transportation, and housing problems will cause between five and seven and a half million Jamies to be chronically absent this year. But with summer right around the corner, you'd think Jamie would have plenty of time to catch up with Jordan then. Sadly, summer presents new challenges for Jamie, a mountain of challenges. You see, every summer, Jordan's learning will evolve by a month because of access to libraries, field trips, and camps, while Jamie will lose two months of school learning every summer because good habits such as reading haven't been reinforced. By the time they reach third grade, Jamie will be between two and two and a half school years behind Jordan in critical reading skills. And how much more likely is Jamie to drop out than Jordan because he can't read at a third grade level? 13 times more likely. And the results of which are frankly catastrophic. Wait just one minute there, folks. The story doesn't end right there. Fortunately for Jamie and Jordan and all of us, there's a whole lot of folks out there that believe neither luck nor lottery nor zip codes should dictate Jamie's future, who also believe that our schools can't do it alone. Luckily, there are leaders, organizations, and good people out there that are dedicated to believing in a whole lot more. The solution right now is relatively straightforward, if we can commit to four things. Number one, we need to make sure our kids are healthy and ready for school. Number two, we need to ensure they grow up in a word and book enriched environment. Number three, we need to engage them in healthy and educational activities over the summer. Number four, we need to make sure that Jamie attends school every single day. Because at the end of the day, you and I both know that lotteries, zip codes, and plain old dumb luck don't really author our children's future. We do.